similar question to the one that I just asked Jess to start off. Can you talk about adjusting to college ball last year and how you made that adjustment and how easy or difficult it was for you? Um, yes. Um, uh, similar to Jess, always playing at a high level, um, competitive, competitively travel ball. Like I've always played at a high level and just working on my craft everywhere, like competing in everything I do. So it wasn't that difficult. I would say the hardest thing was like getting like pushed into it so quickly, I would say, um, but just keeping my head down and like trusting my process. How much of what you experienced last year, whether that's the, the full conference season, playing in the NCAA tournament, what, whatever aspects of last year, how much of what you went through last year as a freshman has informed and kind of helped you along as you prepared for this year? Um, I think there was a lot of like mentally challenging things I went through last year, like just like how to learn how to handle my failure and how to cope with it to make myself stronger. So I think going into that this year, like has put me in a more calm mindset to like knowing everything's going to be OK and that I'm going to succeed through the good and bad and just continue to work through it every day in practice on the field and off the field. How different does this spring or how different does this January feel from last January? Um, This January for me, uh, it feels like a little more weight lifted off my shoulders because I've done so much of the mental work this year. I've always put in the physical work, but me working to get like positive mentality um, has helped me the most. And I just feel in a more calm, happier space. Thank you. Who uh who are some of the of the new faces or maybe younger players that has stood out for you in the fall here and as as you get closer to the start of the season next week? Um, I think we have a great incoming freshman class all around. Um, they all do very great things, very different. They're all very athletic. Our pitchers are like extremely fast, which is so crazy. Like they're all amazing. So I can't wait to see what all of them do. Who's the leaders? Who would you describe as the leaders on this team? And do they lead by example or vocally? Sid Stralo. Our upperclassmen are great, but Sid Stralo definitely stands out when you ask that question. She leads by example and vocally to me. Um, she just always sets the standard, always competing, just all across the board, a great leader. Describe playing for Coach Ritter. It's fun. <laughs> Playing for Coach Ritter is fun. Um, they keep us on our toes, always challenge us every day. Um, yeah. Then my last question, how would you describe your style of game, your style of play when people go watch you play this year? Um, I think my style of play is very fun, uh, upbeat and fast. I always feel like I know one speed for myself, so I'm always on the go. And, um, yeah. Thank you. Do we have any more questions from the Zoom for Breezy? Now we're going to open it up to our media who is here in person. You talked a lot about positivity all the offseason. What does that look like, that mental change that it did? Um, For me, it was a lot of like um, just evaluating myself, self-evaluating, going back and journaling on like the good things I've done instead of always thinking about the bad. I've always been positive on the outside, but on the inside, I always like tore myself down a little bit. So helping myself be positive and just uplifting myself throughout the whole off season has really helped me going into this season. Is there a for you to sort of enter that mindset? Um, I would say at the end of season, um, always wanting more, especially at the end. I like had to come to myself and be like, okay, I want more. Like, what else do I have to do? Like, I feel like I'm doing all the physical. I need to change my mental game to be the best that I could be. Was that end of the season part for you, the way it ended, or something that just you wanted to roll with? Just something I wanted to roll with. At the end, I was like, what can I do to be better next year, next season for my team and for myself? So that really helped. You guys have. Momentum at the end of last year. How do you guys continue to carry that momentum into this year and make that next step? Um, I think not forgetting like how we ended, 
we always talk about it like in the locker room, like we want to go further. We want to keep pushing and that motivates us. So we're not going to let up this year at all. We're going to keep the pace going. Thank you.